everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. Louis, I finally got you on after right. our third video <laughs> video this week. Third year, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Um, so, you know, we're playing Chelsea tomorrow. Massive game for you, more importantly. Mm. Are you going to get fourth, though? That is the big question. No. Why not? I think the fact that it's relying on Liverpool to lose to Brighton. I mean, all, all due respect to Brighton, they beat Man United, but, you know, they're not... This Liverpool team's firing on all cylinders. Yeah, they may have one eye on the Champions League final, but realistically, you know, they're going to want to sign off the season on a high. Um, I, I think that we are uh, we, we're, we're, we're asking for too much, uh, and I think we've kind of left it too late. And obviously, we this season we've been so inconsistent. Uh, lost to West Ham at their place, drawn with Everton, lost to Bournemouth and Watford as well. Obviously, so there's we were doing it. Me, Lewis, and Jack and Ben on the channel. We were sat talking about how many points potentially we dropped from on paper winnable games it's easily 20 plus points um, so that's where we, we are that's the problem we're going to live and die by that sword and unfortunately it's it's just the case we, we, we're the fifth best team in the league and there's no argument for it so Antonio Conte is obviously I watched the, uh, his press conference not one word on Newcastle it was mm. all about Chelsea's poor season mm. and you've got to say it has been a poor season yeah it has it has I, I was on Love Sport Radio earlier and people are saying there's a big shout and I had to grade us I graded this season as an F it's a, failure. it's a failure people may say that we have an FA Cup final to play for and I completely understand that but realistically look I, mean, I would love an FA Cup final no 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 but this way right. as for, for, it's not me saying that Chelsea are we, we, we deserve to be there we are I, I hate it when people want anything I, I feel like we deserve that and that's where we should be no team should be anywhere however with the amount of money that's been invested at Chelsea the the nature that we've been given over the past 10 15 years under Brambridge the cutthroat you know if you don't do well enough you lose out that powerful driven mentality you know it, it's petered off um, players are wrapped in cotton wool and now we, we just don't have that, that drive anymore and that's what's cost us I mean this this season has been poor it's been so poor do you know what surprised me in midweek is that Hazard was even on the bench I mean he's, that was a that was a must win game for you and obviously it blew it didn't it mm. we tried our best against Spurs mind we were absolutely we bossed them but it's Harry Kane isn't it yeah. but why Hazard on the bench I just didn't get that surely he must start tomorrow Conte has a huge issue with rotation huge issue with rotation it's something which has always always it's, it's annoyed us, all of us. You know, he, that game was all the, all the games we had to win all of them, yeah. and then that way we kind of almost be guaranteed top four, where we'd be mathematically in the race even more. We'd be one point away right now, whereas now you know we three points and we we only go above by a point. Um, his rotation has been incredibly strange. His mentality towards substitutions in game and his game management has been strange. Um, Honestly, I, I I don't know. It's like it's almost like he's because he didn't get the players he wanted in the summer. Because he didn't get the signings in January either. He's almost like he's you know flicking it the sounds like club. my club. I know, right? You, you, you're still getting stuff done though. I mean, for for where you guys are right now in the league, you're 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 bossing it. You're tipped to go down, but we were, you know, expected to go on and you, win, you, maybe you, win you, the Champions maybe, League. Maybe, maybe not maybe not win the Champions League, but you know at least try and cement a position. It's hard to retain a Premier League title, but you know top four and sort of. Keep it up, keep up the pressure, have, have a good race. But realistically, you know, we, we just haven't done that. We've, it's like we've just fallen apart. Um, he hasn't got what we wanted. He's basically flicked the Vs to the club and it's cost everybody this season. And it may even put a tarnish his, his reputation, in my opinion. I think he'll have a new manager come the summer. Yeah. Who do you want? What I want isn't what everyone else wants. I'd like to see Jody Morris be given the opportunity. Really? I, 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 I just want a comp if the, look if the clubs change your mentality change it completely I, I want to see you've done well and then the youth, you've just won again we, we won the quadruple we yeah. won we won everything apart from the Champions League you know we lost only lost like two ones to Barcelona as well we've got so many good young players but the problem is our club's philosophy I'll use that because it's not really a philosophy it's just a money machine you know we, we get these young players we don't give them the opportunity and then we sell them on for a massive profit realistically right now we got away with that because we had Terry, Lampard, uh, Petr Cech, Drogba, players that understood what it meant to pull on that, that, that shirt. Yeah. Now we don't have that. And that's one of the other reasons why we just haven't been at the races this season. It's been a lack of leadership. And if you've got players like Hudson Odoi, who teams like Barcelona are now chasing, you know, it, it's, it, it, it says a lot. And it's a case of, I just want to see, I'd like to see Jody Morris maybe given the opportunity. If not, I'd like to see maybe Ancelotti come back for a season or two with Morris as an assistant and then almost 
blood Morris to do it and then he, he goes in a couple of years later with maybe Ancelotti moving upstairs or something that would be my ideal situation really so that's not going to happen we're going to go and get another manager who's done really well somewhere and probably I think it's Saudi is the one that's tipped at the minute 7 million buyout from Napoli probably get him he'll be here for two seasons and then he'll move on same old. Yeah, it's the same old, and that's the thing you know it's a case of it's hit the point for me now I sit and talk to people say who do you want to be the manager I said I go I don't really care I sit there, it's like, he's not going to be here in two years. He's not going to be able to leave an imprint on the club, which will last a long time, and generally just sort of build something. It's almost a redundant argument now. It's, it's, it's just annoying me. I, I want to see something built. I want to see Chelsea as a club which can be self-sustainable, which is what Ryan Abramovich said. He said, within 10 years, I want the club to be self-sustainable. And now we, we get into that stage, but we're still trying to do it the way we used to. It doesn't work. We need to completely change up. Want to cuddle? Yeah, <laughs> oh. it's been a bad day. It's Talk bad to me season. about before we wrap up Newcastle. Before we wrap up, talk to me about what's your thoughts on Kennedy looking from afar because he's really impressed. Yeah, and your thoughts on the game? He'll be, he'll be another player which we just let go, and he'll do really, really well. Really somewhere. Yeah, I think he probably he likes it up here. Clearly, he is, he was a bit of a party boy, so you know he's in a great city for that. <laughs> oh, hopefully, I'll find out tonight. But I mean, it's a case of like, you know. <sighs> Kennedy has definitely excelled. I thought when he came, when he was still on loan, uh, before he went alone, and he, he played uh, against Norwich for us, he, and he and he had done in other previous seasons. You know, he he drives forward. He's really powerful. He makes great runs. He's very physical. And I thought he would make a superb wing back for us as a good option. But now we've got rid of him, and then we brought on another Brazilian uh, from Roma, which is never going to play. So we yeah, wasted really twenty million. Yeah, it's like Emerson's. I think he he came one example came on against City on the seventy sixth minute. And he didn't kick the ball once. Uh, but I think it's a case of, you know, I, I think I'd like to see him come back. I think he's a prime example of a player, along with maybe Ruben Loftus Cheek, who could come back into the club and sort of maybe develop themselves and could build a team around because they're young and they're hungry. But I, I don't know. I, I think it'll be interesting what happens. But Newcastle, blimey, uh, oh, this is my first time coming to Newcastle. Love it tomorrow. It is, it is just looking at the stadium this, this wall you know it's formidable it's amazing and why, I, why aren't we what, because of the owner it's easy to point the finger there but you know why aren't we you know out of the top six that next team I think it, it generally just is the owner this is this is a one club city like you were saying on our video as well it's, it's driven by football it's like a, it's like a fishbowl when you said that you know this place it has the capacity to be massive and I mean I'm talking huge you may be on a power city if you get the right investment because it's it's the people of the city that kind of that drive Newcastle forward and I think it's a case of look it is down to investment if, if, if you've got the right person who came in invested the right money Newcastle has a well obviously like I said one club city uh, it's got it's got traction. It can draw people in. It is very up and coming as well. Like there is there is stuff that's going on around here as well. So I just think it's a case of, you know, uh, it just needs. Finger, that. It, it's not. You know, that's the thing. It's, it's, you don't because obviously my, it's my first time here. But you know, I, I speak to you. I speak to um, Ollie from Talk Crystal Palace because he also goes to uni here. And it's a case of you, you, the way that you guys speak about it. It's just. You get the Love feeling. It. You get the feeling. I'm, uh, my my mum was a scouser, so it's almost like that. That whole you get that. that yeah, it's like you get that drive. It's that independent. It's that you know we're our own thing, and I think it's a case of Newcastle could drive that, and just it's it's shown in the club. And if they get if the club got that right, honestly, this team could be going for league titles. But I just think for the entirety of its history, apart from that one one era with Kevin Keegan. You know that is where that, that is it. You know it, it just needs it just needs a kick up the arse. And, just, and I think we need some back. And what's going to happen tomorrow? Score prediction? We never do well. Eh? I'm going one one. Oh yeah. Mm. Interesting. Let us know what you think. Thanks very much, Louis, for coming Thanks on. For Link is in the description for 100% Chelsea. See you later. Bye.